I wanted to talk about Shanahan and Purdy, but from a different perspective. And this was a topic that you brought to my attention, and I really had to sit down and think about it. But Jimmy Garoppolo, we saw him in primetime, what was it, Sunday night football against the Steelers, a Steelers team that the 49ers beat in week one. And that win, every time the Steelers have played since then, looks better and better, does it not? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we watched Jimmy Garoppolo, who now leads the league in interceptions with six, I believe, Yeah, look like Jimmy Garoppolo, bad Jimmy. Mm -hmm. And the question now becomes, what does this, if anything, say about Shanahan and Purdy watching Jimmy Garoppolo go through his struggles with the Las Vegas Raiders, in your opinion? Well, let's talk about the Jimmy Shanahan thing first, if that's okay. Like, the, yeah, let's do it. So, what it means is that Jimmy was a product of Kyle and not vice versa. I know there's a lot of debate uh, about that when Jimmy was here and the whole Jimmy just wins. Uh, I think it's pretty clear. I mean, it, of course, a small sample size. Maybe he'll turn it around with the Raiders, but I mean, they're already talking about benching them. I don't know if you saw that, but McDaniel's is talking about they might consider benching Jimmy Garoppolo already after yep. three weeks um so it definitely you know it, it makes me have more appreciation for kyle the fact that he was able to make jimmy look as good as he did when he was on the 49ers because jimmy was never he was never good but he was under control under kyle and you know how jimmy he wanted to be free right he wanted to play free well we see what happens when jimmy plays free and this is why kyle was pretty hard on him so you know, shout out to Kyle Shanahan for making Jimmy Garoppolo a serviceable quarterback in the NFL. I don't think that's what he is for the Raiders. Uh, now, as far as what Brock Purdy is, Brock Purdy is better than Jimmy Garoppolo, no question at all to me. Uh, and that's the, that's the thing that makes this season exciting for me and, and just where the 49ers are at because they were, you know, a quarter away from winning a Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo. Now they got Brock Purdy, who's better than Jimmy Garoppolo. If they can get that close with Jimmy, that gives me confidence that they can go all the way with Brock. Now, and I know I'm rambling a lot, but I'm going to let you speak. I'm going to no, let you no, talk here, thing. Jesse. But, do your thing. Uh, do your thing. Uh, um, but th that doesn't – now, don't take this the wrong way, but obviously Kyle is making Brock look the best that Brock can look, I think. I don't think Brock can go anywhere, maybe outside of Miami, and look better than he looks right now with the 49ers. Now, does that mean – I'm not trying to take away anything from Brock, but I think Kyle is making Brock better, just like he made Jimmy better. But Brock is a better quarterback overall, regardless. Like, I think Brock would be better on the Raiders than Jimmy is on the Raiders. Uh, so that just gives me yeah. confidence yeah. in the season, and I think the 49ers could have the potential to go all the way. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to talk about a lot of those things. Vincent wants to know, when is behind enemy lines? It is tomorrow, brother. Every Wednesday night, after 49ers after dark around 10 15 p.m eastern is when we do behind enemy lines appreciate you for keeping it tapped in here at last second sports but yeah i think i think everybody wanted to see the confirmation and what jimmy would look like away from shanahan i think a lot of people thought maybe jimmy would look much better away from shanahan because he had the freedom and that shanahan was holding him back a little bit uh some people thought he would look worse we're seeing what it looks like. And I, I think more than anything, you're right. This has more to do with Shanahan than it does Brock Purdy. What, what Shanahan did for Jimmy Garoppolo and has done for a lot of these quarterbacks, I mean, we look at some of these, these records that are put up on, on television all the time. And remember the one graphic that was like, Shanahan's record without Jimmy Garoppolo is... And so yeah. people took that like, oh, well, it's Jimmy. Jimmy's the reason they win. Reality is, as long as he can get a starting level quarterback, he's going to win a lot of games because he puts them in great position. And that's yeah. exactly what he did with Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't think, I don't think there was anything that would have happened this year, barring something crazy surprising that would have ever made me think that Jimmy Garoppolo was better than what we've seen from Brock Purdy. And... I don't think that there was anything that would have happened this year that would have told me that Shanahan didn't make the job easier for Jimmy Garoppolo. There was so many little flashbacks in that game. There was the pick over the middle. The then point. there was this. <laughs> 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 the point. You know something bad's yeah. about to happen when he points downfield. You're like, oh, God, here it comes. Don't do it, Jimmy. Don't do it. Yeah. So 
he's he's the same guy. He just doesn't have the umbrella of Kyle Shanahan anymore. And I think what it says about Shanahan and Purdy more than anything, let's let's pull Jimmy out of it. But what we are seeing, even let, statistics, everything aside, what we're seeing with Shanahan and Purdy is trust. A trust that Shanahan has with Brock Purdy that he never in the five years or so had with Jimmy Garoppolo. Regardless of stats, regardless of points, regardless of any of that stuff, the most important thing is that quarterback-coach relationship. And Shanahan and Purdy have a relationship that Shanahan and Jimmy never had. And there's a trust there that Shanahan has for Purdy. And I think that, beyond everything, is the most important thing that we've seen this year. Really, it started last year, but we've really started to see it this year. Just the trust that Shanahan has in Purdy. I think that is the biggest difference. Yeah, and real quick, Zach Bowen says something. I've seen this a, a, a lot um, Yeah, where's that? The, the last couple of days. I just want to point it out. Uh, Purdy, Dobbs, Minshew, Herbert, and Stroud have all played three games and have zero interceptions. So not just Purdy, but uh, it's, it is great that he doesn't have an interception. But there's actually five quarterbacks, including who, Purdy. Who, who are the ones that have played three games today? Purdy, Purdy Dobbs, Dobbs, Minshew, Herbert, and Stroud. All five have played no interceptions, according to Stroud. ESPN. Okay. Yeah, well, Minshew's only played the one and a half ish game so we'll take him out but stroud started all for a rookie damn stroud hey that was my number yeah. one quarterback coming into this thing it's way too, too early to start making projections but that dude yeah. is super accurate so dobbs stroud and purdy i if i would have told herbert. you herbert too oh herbert as well okay well mm -hmm. herbert makes sense but if i would have told you that dobbs and stroud would have been in that <laughs> category yeah and, and not because not because uh Stroud's bad. I think Stroud's going to be really good. He was my number one quarterback coming into the process. You said it was the same thing for you, but he's a rookie still, regardless. On on not the greatest team, you wouldn't expect that from him. And then Dobbs, I mean, I'm talking about a journeyman here who's found a way to start for the Arizona Cardinals. That in itself is a crazy story. He's doing a good job over there as well. But yeah, that's uh, that's can very. Can we talk about can we talk about Minshew though? Like I, I think didn't, didn't Richardson got hurt in the first game, right? Or was it the second game? I it was no, the first game. it was in the second game. He got okay. hurt in the first game, but he came back. And then in the second game uh, is when he... Yeah. That's why they have him listed. They have him listed as three games um, for, for Minshew. But Minshew was who I wanted yeah. as a backup quarterback for the 49ers, man. That, that's who right. I, <laughs> I wanted. They got Darnold instead. But I like Minshew, yeah. to be honest. I do, you. too. Yeah, I do, too. No, I, I do as well. I do as well. Richardson, I think, is going to be good as well. But anyways, okay. 